And then from the time I was seven, he would take me hunting because I had four sisters and we fought all the time. And I, I didn't like it where I was staying with my folks, so I'd run away to my aunts. And if you um, know Fort Thompson, there's a, we lived at the Catholic Church and when you go across, we go across and down the hill to Old Fort and I, my, my grandpa's brother lived over the hill. So I always stopped there, Grandpa Louie. He's big and tall too. And I'd tell him, I'm going to go to Aunt Francis's, watch me, you know. So I'd go across the bridge and I'd, I'd go up. It was about um, maybe three miles. Out. I'd walk out there to her house. Then I'd stay there for as long as I wanted to. And I did that ever since I was like four, five. And you know, today, anybody have four or five year old, they take off, you worry. I can imagine the worry, but I knew my way around. I went to um, at Francis's and I stayed there. But whenever I go back home, when I got older, I would hunt with my dad. And we ate a lot of rabbit and and we ate some, some a uh, couple times we ate beaver, we ate raccoon. Tastes like pork. <laughs> was uh, just learning how to, and I'd watch my Aunt Frances whenever they get something like that. I'd watch her cook it. So then I, you know, I caught on to the cooking. And uh, then we went fishing a lot. So like right now, a person could survive on this land. We didn't need to run to the store for everything. And maybe they get potatoes. And my uncle, Pete, he raised potatoes. My dad raised potatoes. If we had the cellar and it, uh, put those potatoes, we'd have potatoes for a long time, you know, as long as we don't shine the light on them. And uh, we'd be able to keep our food. So we didn't have refrigerators. And so everything is dried. That's our way of survival is to dry our foods. So when I was real little, I learned how, I watched my aunt and my grandma and them. They, They'd slice that meat and make it real thin and then they'd hang it, you know. And the men folks would get the willow poles and put them up and that so we could hang hang the meat and dry it. There was many, many things that were dried like um, squash. I never learned how to cook squash till I come here. But when they used to prepare squash, they used to uh, sew a string through it and hang it and dry it, you know, and use it whenever they need it. And uh, we had um, many uh, different ways of choke cherries. We had to pound them and make patties. So we'd go down and get uh, oh, about three, five gallon buckets of choke cherries, and we'd, as kids would sit there and pound it because we like to eat them. You know, after you pound it, we like to eat them. And we'd make these uh, trays of, of patties. They look like hamburgers, dried hamburgers, you know. And we'd we'd uh, get done with that and they'd put them in a the sack and, you know, put it away. And they stayed dried, the corn stayed dried for as long as you need it. So, we had a way of, of preserving our food. And um, there is, uh, whenever they get fresh meat, we always had, you know, steaks and, you know, soups, a lot of soup. And my grandpa had cattle. So he was, uh, he was provide, he butcher, he'd give some to my Aunt Frances and he'd give some to my mother. So we always had to meet, but, but since my dad worked at the road department and got paid, well, we, we ate good. I don't remember a time when he was working that, that we went hungry. <laughs>